Former American champion in one, Steve Scott in two, O'Sullivan in three, Nordine Morsali in four, Sammy Koske, also not a bad 800-meter runner miler, Frank O'Mara, John Hinton, John Quaid, and Yo Yellow start the race, and they're off to a clean start, and we'll see who sifts out as the rabbit. I understand it may be John Hinton of Nike Atlantic Coast Club and see what exactly will drag this field through in the first 400 meters. It's time for a fast mile indoors, Craig. We haven't seen one. Well, it's uh, Morsley who said he thought he could break Eamon Coughlin's Milrose record, which was set back in 1981. I was in that race. In fact, I led part of that race. I guess you'd call me the rabbit in the sense that I was trying to keep the pace going, and it was Coughlin who took advantage of it and ran away to a 3.53 mile, still the Milrose record. Now, we asked Morsley, how are you going to run this race? What will your tactics be? And he says, my conditioning will determine that. I think I'm in good shape, but I haven't run a race yet. That will determine how fast I run at what point of the race. Well, this nine-man field strings out very, very quickly behind John Hinton. It's John Hinton leading from John Quaid, Johan Bokes of Britain, Nordine Morsali of Algeria in four. Marcus O'Sullivan tucked in halfway through the field in five. He likes it there. Steve Scott, unlike last year, where he trailed the field for most of the race, in six currently. Morsali trying to move up. Now, he doesn't have a lot of experience on these banked board tracks. His goals this season to win the World Indoor Championship and the World Outdoor Championship, and he really has the hopes of a whole nation on his shoulders. Now, a lot of times people say that, but Algeria, in, in Algeria, track and field is as popular as any other sport, including soccer. He was the number one athlete in Algeria last year. Now, Morsali has now moved up into second place, wants to be a little bit closer to the pace that the rabbit is setting. It's Hinton in the lead, Morsali in second. Marcus O'Sullivan now moving into third place. He doesn't want to let this pace get out of hand. He thinks he's in good shape. John Quaid in fourth, Johan Bokes in fifth, and Steve Scott is currently in sixth place. The interesting thing is to watch Marcus O'Sullivan shadowing Nordine Morsali. He doesn't care what the guy in first does. He wants to know what is Morsali going to do in second. 157 at the half mile, so it's really rolling, and now Morsali is in the lead. Now, he doesn't necessarily like to lead races. He has that big kick over about the last 500 meters, kind of like a guy who runs this event pretty well himself, Saeed Awida from Morocco. We have a pack of five runners up in striking distance. It's Morsali in first, followed by O'Sullivan, then John Quaid, Johan Bokes of the University of Arkansas in Great Britain, and Steve Scott is fifth. He's actually in a pretty good position, but watch the concentration of O'Sullivan. He's just watching the back of Nora Dean Morsali for any weakness, any move that he might make, because Marcus O'Sullivan, like Eamon Coughlin, is the master of the move the on big indoor move. tracks. One big move that will change the course of the race. And the thing about Morsali is he studies the event. He's coached by his brother, who ran back in the 70s, was about a 3.53 miler himself. But Mor Morsley said, my brother never had the chance to make it. At 20 years old, I've already had the chance to make it. I'm number one in the world. I'm running for my family as well as myself. At this point in time, it looks like the battle is joined between Morsley and O'Sullivan. Steve Scott now moving into third place in that second group, but it appears as though it will be between Morsali and O'Sullivan, and O'Sullivan is just waiting for the time to strike. His only chance is to surprise Morsali, it seems to me. Morsali looks so easy and relaxed, that long stride, and here comes the move. Morsali senses it, and he's going to be able to hold him off here. As you said, Craig, Morsali looking very, very strong, was not bothered by that move. Can O'Sullivan mount another move like that, or has he spent what he had? It's the bell lap. No gun was shot off. Morsley's been training at altitude in Mexico City. Arrived yesterday to take advantage of that. If Nora Dean Morsley in the lead, he will not be beaten this night. The first non-Irishman in the last six or seven years to win the Milrose Wanamaker Mile. Nora Dean Morsley of Algeria, ranked number one in the world in the 1500 meters in 1990 after coming out of absolutely nowhere, attending Riverside Community College out in California, training at altitude in Mexico City. And he wins the Wanamaker Mile tonight. This was the race right here, Dwight. The only way for Marcus O'Sullivan to win this race was to surprise Noradine Morsali, to jump by him and make it impossible for Morsali to get by. When Morsali was able to sense him there and hold him off, there was no way Marcus was going to regather and get by him at the end. It came to the finish, and rarely do you see someone indoors look so easy and so fluid at, at the end.
big breakthrough last year, a year ago at the LA Times when he finished second to Britain's Peter Elliott. Everyone said, hey, who is this guy? He's 19 years old. He's running a 355 miles on the indoor boards. He said earlier to us when we talked to him, he said, Marcus O'Sullivan has dominated indoors, but now it's time for Noradine Morsali. Well, doesn't he just have the build for indoors? He's slight, he's short, he has that great leg speed, the turnover. Marcus O'Sullivan needed to jump on him and drop in on him, and as soon as Marcus made that move, Morsley just went, hey, I've got plenty left, and just took off from him. There's Ahmad Barmia himself, a 353 miler, who coaches not only Morsley, or works with not only Morsley, but about 300 Algerian athletes. I talked to Brahmi earlier today. He said, we're going to put a club in the World Club Championships led by this man right here that will win the World Club Championships and show that Algeria is a nation to be reckoned with in track and field. Unofficially, Nordin Mursali just misses breaking Eamon Coghlan's meet record. And, of course, the Wanamaker Mile so often pays off this meet. It's often the outstanding performance of the competition. The winner of that race oftentimes is the most valuable athlete of the meet. And at this point, I have to say, I couldn't argue with Nora Dean Morsali being the man of the hour, the man at this 84th annual Snickers Mill Rose Games. We know when we talked to him earlier, he was a modest man. He didn't speak, he didn't speak loudly, but when we asked him, what can you run? He said, I can run from 352 to 354. He's a man who delivers with an unofficial 353.5. And he's with our Nicole Watson. Nicole? You came on so strong at the end. Well, uh, this is my uh, first race since last September. And I just came from high altitude from Mexico, so that's make me very strong. And we know Marcus Sullivan is strong in the indoor, so I was running like tactical race and uh, I was keeping my uh, energy for the last four, four, 400. So that's uh, You've been training in Mexico City. Has that paid off for you? Yeah, a lot of artists uh, like Cecilia with our Cifran go there. The artists make you very tough artists. So when you come to the Levy you can't feel nothing. Fantastic race. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.